Hi, Andrew here. Today we're going to take a look at 9mm Supervel 115 grain solid copper hollow point. A little while back we tested their 45 caliber 160 grain solid copper hollow point and it did quite well. It's good to see the name returning and so far it seems like they're making some pretty decent stuff, but we haven't seen a lot of bullets that do great in a short 9mm, so it's a tough challenge to live up to. However, Solid copper hollow points do tend to do a good job, and the last one did a great job. So let's get out to the range, shoot it through my wife's Smith & Wesson shield, and see what happens. All right, guys, <laughs> I'm having a hell of a time keeping bullets in the block today. I'm sure you could see there on the high speed that this one exited about here, so I took a couple of uh, bonus shots. This shot exited at 14.2. This shot stopped at 15.8, 15.3, 15.4, so far, so good. Penetration is ideal. All of them appear to have expanded. As I often say, the easy part is the bear gel. Let's get these bullets out and take a look. All right, looking great. Nice uniform expansion. Sharp edges. The cavity is fully flattened out. I'd say that that is just about the limit of the potential of this particular bullet for expansion. Very good. Again, that's the easy part. Let's see how this does against heavy clothing. Okay, color me surprised. In both cases, bullets expanded, and I managed to keep them in the block this time. Penetration, 16.6 and 15.8. Looks like they expanded in both cases. Let's take a look at the bullet. There we go. Cute little plug of denim, nice big flat expansion, there's the plug again, and again big huge flat expansion, nice and wide, sharp pedals. Overall, this is outstanding performance. Good performance in bear gel, good performance in heavy clothing. This is a solid choice for a short barrel pistol. Okay, what can I really add to this? This load nailed every single metric that you want to see in defensive ammunition. It did perfectly. Even out of a short barrel, it nailed everything. Perfect expansion, reliable expansion, consistent expansion, adequate penetration that was relatively consistent and fell neatly within that 14 to 16 inch mark that we're looking for for the ideal sweet spot, as well as obviously over the 12 inch minimum and under the 18 inch maximum. Did everything perfectly. And in addition to that, those solid copper hollow points tend to have some nice sharp corners on it. Now there is some debate among experts as to how important sharp edges are in improving a wound. Uh, theoretically, those sharp edges cut more 
and a blunt front face or me plat on the big, on the front of the bullet pushes tissue aside more. The theory is that those sharp edges can cause more cutting and more permanent wounding, whereas the a blunt front edge causes tissue to just stretch a little bit more. I don't claim to be an expert, and therefore my opinion on the matter is mostly irrelevant. I suspect that sharp edges do play a role, albeit a small one. If you subscribe to that theory, then this is also icing on the cake. The important thing is the previously mentioned perfect performance in every single metric. The list of 9mm short barrel acceptable loads grew by just one. If you have any questions, if you think I got something wrong, definitely leave a comment below. I love to hear your feedback. If you want to make a badass high-speed video like you saw in this video, get in touch with Aimed Research. I'll leave their contact information in the description down below, along with the link to the discussion back at AR15.com. Have a great day.